And there are just enough holes for the numbers of chickens. <laughs> Why did you move? <laughs> Musical feet holes. Silly birds. Well, guys, we have a sick chick. Miss Ruby here is not feeling very good. So I had stopped like a dum-dum, the apple cider vinegar, and electrolytes in their water. I was just giving them regular water. And I noticed some slightly poopy stool. So I started it back, but then I come out today and she's all puffy. And I noticed that there's just completely bloody stool. Um, and it was all over her belly, so I gave her a bath, and I've been sitting here blow drying her on the low heat setting, blasting the cool button every now and then, trying to dry her off and warm her up. And I'm going to try to get some food in her. Poor baby. What you got, Aiden? Oh, 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 two hands, two hands. Say, Mama did a thing. Ooh, hold you want to hold the duck? Yeah. Okay, sit down. Come here, sweet girl. Ah. Whoop. Oh no, where'd she go? Whoop, she pooped. She pooped. Are you telling her it's okay? Yeah, the rivet head. You might still be over here. Should we put her back with her friends? No. No. Are you going to pet her? Oh, no. No. Oh, poop. Yeah, she pooped. Mom will clean it up. So, we've got them in a smaller box at the moment because I wanted to change boxes, completely clean everything um, to help lessen the load if Miss Ruby did have coccidiosis. We've got a medicated feed, which Miss Opal is sitting on. Um, I have intensified the water solution a little bit, and it's got a whole bunch of like herbs and spices that are supposed to help. It even has some honey in there, which is supposed to help boost the immune system. She's looking a little better today, a little less puffy. Still not 100%, but she um, flew out of the little basket I had her in last night and actually in with the baby chicks, which I didn't want because if she does have coccidiosis and she gives it to them, they're much smaller than the others, so I didn't think they could handle the load, even though I'm doing turbo water for them. I guess that's what I'm going to call it now, and a medicated feed, just in case. Because with coccidiosis, you have to treat your whole flock. Um, and the medication, it's not an antibiotic. It's, I'll have to find the bag. Hold on just a second. Okay, so on the bag, it says medicated crumbles, but then it says no added antibiotics or hormones. So I was a little confused, but it is medicated with 
this amprolium to help with coccidiosis. So hopefully that will help her. So the training from the future here, I totally realized that I forgot to tell the story of how we ended up with more chicks. Or I actually lost the footage of it because I remember filming it but don't know where it went. So since Miss Ruby was sick and um, I had been doing natural treatments and she was still getting worse and was practically on her deathbed, I made the decision to go get the medicated feed. Well, while we were in Tractor Supply, every time we go in Tractor Supply, Aiden knows there are chicks there, so we always request to see the chicks. So I said, okay. So we went back and we looked at the chicks. Well, through the whole process of getting chickens, I had originally wanted Americana chickens, which lay the blue to bluish green eggs. Um, I could never find them. It just so happened that Tractor Supply had four Americana chicks left, and they sell them in minimums of four. So I was like, maybe it's meant to be. We'll get four more chicks, just in case something happens to Miss Ruby. We'll also um, have a buffer there because if anything happened to her, that would leave us with only four chickens and three roosters, which is not a ratio that you typically want. Um, so I was like, okay, great. We'll get the four baby Americana chicks and it'll be great. Well, while we were there, a lady bought all the ducklings they had. They had 10 ducklings, which was fine with me because I didn't want ducklings until the spring. Um, we had plans on getting ducks and we were going to free range them in the pasture once they got big enough um, and that way they had a pond. Um, well, Aiden got really excited about the ducks and she was so sweet and let him hold one while the gentleman was collecting all the ducks for and finding a big enough box for them. So we eventually part ways and I had got my medicated feed and was waiting on the gentleman to gather my four Americana chicks and she comes back and asks if we had a place for a duck and I was like well we have a pond and we're eventually going to get ducks I said as of right now we're in the process of building a coop and I think they can live with chickens in a coop she goes great here's a baby duck it's already paid for. The lady up front already knows that I'm giving you a duck and that it's paid for. And she gives Aiden a duck. So that's how we ended up with a duck. And then four more chicks. Look at them.